So in this video, I want to talk about some common statistical measures uh, that we'll need um, to know. And a lot of times what we're doing is we're either using these statistical measures to describe our data or we're using it to uh, be, able, be able to confirm or reject a hypothesis. Um, and we'll get to that later on. But the first one I want to start with is the mean. It's, the, it's commonly referred to as the average. It's the one that I believe everyone knows the most. Um, and, and, a lot, and it's just the sum of the data points or the observations that you have uh, divided by the number of observations. I believe everyone has uh, calculated the mean or the average at some point in time. And so, uh, but it's, it's the most commonly used. And I, th and I think it's a good one to start off with, the median. And so the median is going to be the middle of your data set. And the median is the value where, where at, this, at this value, 50% of your data lies below it and 50% lies above it. That's what it means for the median to be the middle of the data set. And we commonly use the median uh, as a measure of what we call central tendency. It's just the center. You know, the mean and median are supposed to give us a center. But the median is a better measure of central tendency or the center of our, our distribution of our data um, when we have a skewed distribution, when it's not a perfect bell curve. You may have heard of the bell curve, um, but a percentile. So a percentile uh, is, is where if I say I have, for example, the 25th percentile, uh, if I say that, this is a value like a number. It could be any number. It just depends on the distribution that you're working with. It could be 2.75 whatever it is, uh, it's the value where 25% of the data falls below it. Um, or you could also say 75% of the data falls above it. And so that's a percentile. The median is since 50% of the data lies below the median and 50% above it, the median is, uh, is going to give us the 50th percentile of our data set. Variance, uh, variance is a measure of variability. It's going to tell us in this formula right here. We commonly will see that, you know, variance is commonly represented as sigma squared. Uh, it's just going to be the sum over all of your data points subtra uh, subtracted off from the mean. So we're going to calculate the difference between every data point you have and the mean of the data of the data set or the observations squared. And then we're going to divide it by the number of observations. And sometimes you'll see it divided by n minus one, but that's besides the point here. But essentially what it's doing is it's just calculating the variability or the deviation of, of each data point from its mean. And that's a way for us to measure the dispersion or the variability of our data. And um, moving on to standard deviation, the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Um, and so the they all have their own use cases. The, the variance of standard deviation, a common use case of it, is uh, measuring volatility of a stock. Um, and so standard deviation and variance will be used to measure the volatility of a stock, how much it deviates around its mean. And so, um, yeah, I think let's head into a really quick, uh, very simple, uh, concrete example so that we can see these uh, be applied in action. And so I have in front of you a list of observations and I've uh, said that they're x, right? I've, I've said it as a variable x, uh, but that's besides the point. Uh, these are a list of observations, and so I got uh, maybe I did some experiment, experiment like I rolled a die or something like that. But this is all I have. This is all the data I have. I don't know this is a die. All I know is that I I ran an experiment and I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trials of it. I collected nine observations, and this is what I got. So how do we first, let's first start off by calculating the mean, right? If we think about this, we have the mean is going to be, we can commonly represent this as mu, but in our case, we're going to represent it as x bar, right? And why do we do that? You'll see in inferential statistics, the difference matters, but the mu is going to be the population at large. Mu would be if we had ran this experiment, not nine times, but an infinite number of times, like we, if we knew it was a die, right? But x bar is a sample because all we have is nine um, observations here. And so this is what the mean is going to be. It's going to be the sum of all of these. And I'm going to group them by like so that we can make this fast. 2 plus 4, okay, plus 6, plus 4, plus 5, plus 6. And so it's going to be 6, 12, uh, 16, 21, and then 27. And remember, we divide by the number of observations, which is 9. And that's going to give us 3. 
So the mean here is three. Now, if we think about the median, right? So let's move on to the median. So the, and I'm gonna first write this here. The median is going to be, I'll write that a little bit clearer. The median is going to be, uh, if we had, now, well, first things, if you want to calculate the median of a data set, and computers usually do this, but what you do is you sort it. If you remember, you, you're supposed to sort it in ascending order, and then you find the middle of it. And a common trick is just to start at the leftmost item right here, the leftmost observation, cross it out, and then cross this one out, cross this one out, cross this one out, cross this out, and so on, until eventually what happens is, is that you get down to uh, one item or two items. And if you get down to um, if on your last right stroke you get down to two items, you need to take the average of them. And if you get down to one item like we have here, you just use that item right there. And so the medium, median here is going to be three. And luckily enough for us, the median and the mean are exactly the same. And so now let's think about the variance. Um, and so the variance, remember, follows A formula where we take each observation, we subtract off the mean, and we sum that all up, and then we divide it by n. And so this is going to be, uh, we're going to start with the ones here. It's going to be 1 minus 3 squared plus 1 minus 3 squared, because 3 is the mean and 1 are these two observations. Uh, these are the two observations, are ones. And then we're going to do 2 minus 3 squared plus 2, mi two minus 3 squared and then we get to these threes. And now three minus three squared, right, it's just zero. So we don't really need to write those out. And so we can just replace these two right here, which is zero. Cool. And then let's continue, and I'm gonna continue down here. Uh, four minus three squared plus five minus three squared plus six minus three squared. And you know this one right here, and I'm gonna since we have everything down, I don't have to keep that list up. That should be good. Uh, this is all gonna turn into one minus three squared right here. That's negative two squared. That's gonna be four. And so all these are gonna be positive numbers. This is gonna be four as well, plus one one because two minus three is negative one squared is one. So one one plus one, and then plus uh, four minus three squared is one two. Five minus three squared is is 2 squared, which is 4. 6 minus 3 squared is 3 squared, which is 9. And then if you add this all up, you get 8, 10, 11, 15, and then 9, which is 24. And so you have 24. And remember, you have to divide by n, which is 9. It's the number of observations. And then so we have 24 over 9. This is going to simplify to 8 over 3. And this is our variance. Remember, this is our sigma squared. And so our standard deviation, just to drive this home, sigma, commonly write standard dev. If you use uh, Excel, you'll see it written that way as well. It's just the square root of 8 over 3. And so that's how you calculate the variance. That's how you calculate the median and the mean. And uh, given some observations right here, we had n is equal to 9 right here. So we had nine observations, we just collected some samples, and then we calculated the mean, median, and the variance, and the standard deviation of it.